G'day nuclear enthusiasts and welcome to the four step guide in creating a meltdown to get those three steam achievements we've been working so hard on over the last week or so. First step is start a new game and bring up the core and output power to the grid nice and stably which I've already done off camera without any chemicals mainly installed, but it doesn't matter whether you have the random catastrophes or the weather consequences enabled, as long as those chemicals are not here available. Once you've got everything up and stable, output to the grid, 10.1, nearly at 360, oh sorry, nearly at 306 with the nominal operation mode instead of the maximum outputting more than enough power to the grid, even burning off a little bit excessively in there. And the next three last steps we need to do to cause the reactor to melt down is set that to zero. Come on over here, we'll turn the primary loop off and the secondary loop off. That is all we need to do. All we've got left on is our condenser because it really doesn't matter and we have our pressurizer still on as well. From here, the temperature should raise dramatically as well as that reactivity maxing all the way out. So here we are looking A-OK -okay so far. And once this all does its thing, I think we should go and take the train escape and get at least two out of three of those steam achievements done. Here we go, the Tetris has begun. Here we go. Let's get our oh crap suit on. Ah, there we go. Quick sip of my tea. My throat was a little, little dry there for a second. Here we go. Let's mute those annoying ear bleeding alarms. Not so much when you're in your hazmat suit at least. Here we go. Still lowering that rod height. The good old red light has begun. And what I'm waiting for is for the internal vessel core to empty all the way out or boil completely off. And then after that, the outer core vessel will then start dropping in its level dramatically to the point that as soon as it gets to zero, it should then close the blast doors sooner or later cause the catastrophic critical event that causes the meltdown in itself which i did go ahead and watch one of my previous meltdown videos and that's exactly what i'm going on now which is in the top right hand side of your screen right now if you want to go back and watch an older version on me doing this exact same thing pretty much kind of a, a cool little song at the start on how we quickly start the reactor up exactly the same way we did this way in this save right now. Let's get rid of another alarm. Nearly 1300 degrees. I think the highest we've seen it was like 1515 or so. Here we go. 82% integrity on that. No more water on the internal vessel. Now our outer core vessel is starting to empty. Stage one of the meltdown has begun. And I'm pretty sure that's the city going in. You, you were giving us power, now you know what's going on. I'm causing a meltdown. I'm, I'm breaking the world. Leave me alone. Oh, yeah. Haven't quite got the fire on it for stage two just yet. But we'll get there. 62.76. And we're about 13 and dropping very quickly there. Drop below the operating limit. Yes, thank you, AO. I appreciate it. We go, we're on three. The blast door should close. The mushroom cloud's getting bigger. That's another good sign for what we want to see. 1.1. 1 .1. 0.086, see if I can get the door closing almost in the background as soon as this hits almost absolute zero. There it is. Oh, there's stage two, the flaming core of doom. 0.07, 
06, 05, 04, 03. There's the door. Almost right on time. Our integrity should be dropping quite severely from now on. And I'm more safer, I think, to maybe speed the time up quite soon, even now to 2x speed for now and see how we go. 37, let's go 3x speed and really kick this up a notch so we're not wasting too much time. I want that meltdown trigger now and I want that steam achievement ASAP. Give me it. I want it. I want it now. Lots of alarms still going off. That's always a good thing. Still got a good nice high temperature at least. 18, 15. Had to disconnect from the plant. Yes, I know. Thank you. 8, 6, 3.69. Nice. 1.3. There's the five minute countdown. Finally. We should hopefully get the steam achievement. I'm trying to take my time in getting out. Not sure what we need to trigger for one of the Steam achievements, which we haven't got our name up here just yet, that I know of yet. Nope. Alright, hopefully we'll be soon. Don't know if we need to do anything else, but we should be able to take the train out of here at least. As this Steam achievement may not unlock until... I take the train away. So we might get two at once by doing this. Imminent meltdown. Start the evacuation protocol. Might even wait a little bit. We can't skip time out here. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Keep forgetting this door's not automatic. Should be activated. We have triggered the meltdown at least, as far as what AO just told us. So we should be able to leave and hopefully get two Steam achievements done. There we go. Uh, close the doors. Safety first. Off. Let's see if we can do the emergency escape. Let's get out of dodge with the train escape. And maybe we should get, you have managed to escape alive from the plant. Will be uninhabitable, start a new game with 50%. Remember that the reward only applies to a new game, not to saved progress. There we go. There's the train escape right there, finally. Now, let's see what happens when we just let it time out. All right, for the next try, we're going to do the exact same thing, except this time we're not going to take the train out at all. And we'll set that to zero. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Go ahead and turn that one off and that one off. And we might as well tell them we're going to be doing an emergency shutdown because things are going to get real very quickly. Let's get the oh crap suit on again. And this time I'll just be waiting for the five minute countdown to actually time out instead of taking the train. So we'll get that second steam achievement off our bucket list nice and quickly. That have been working very, very hard to get recently. go green glow has begun i might as well stand out of the way of the blast doors so we don't get crushed hopefully there goes the outer core vessel wow that's dropping very quickly very very quickly 
Here we go. Mushroom cloud bigger and bigger. Excellent. The next stage of the meltdown. Excellent. Much bigger. There goes the blast doors. Sealing it off. See if we can get at least a video camera in there and see what's happening. And now we're just waiting for the integrity to drop all the way. And I'll slow down the time and wait for that five minute countdown, which all you'll see is a very quick time skip as I'll speed up the time in editing till the point where it counts down the last few seconds. Eleven sixty-two. Here we go again. Seven forty-eight. Five forty-two. Three thirty-five. One point two eight. There we go. Fantastic. And now is when we'll just see this for quite a bit of time. So let's see if I can get a nice little zoom in with the time just there. Here we go, 10 seconds remaining. Decided to do a quick jump cut instead. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Hopefully that should be our second Steam achievement right there. Ah! Boom. There it is. Excellent. All we now need to do is cause a meltdown once more in the next episode and actually go ahead and reverse that meltdown itself for the final Steam achievement for Nuclearies, at least up to the version where we are now. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz, and stay sharp till next time as always. See ya.